Hey, people. How y'all doing? Let's have a little quick conversation. Just a little quick conversation. Nothing big. It's not even going to be long. I just feel like hopping on and seeing how everybody's doing. How are you all doing? How's your day going? That's basically the reason I'm hopping on. That's it. That's it, guys. That's all she wrote. That's the only reason I'm hopping on right now. Just to ask, how y'all doing? How's your day going? Not even talking about talking about politics. Not even talking about politics. We may wander over there, but just saying, hey, how are you doing? How's your day going? Are you able to, were you able to get a little rest and relaxation? Were you able to decompress a little bit? That's what the question of the day is. That's it. I'm not looking for anybody to hop in with anything heavy. Just to talk. So, take your time. I want to talk about our nation. The breaks and the cracks in our nation. And the fact that in my opinion, which does not have to be yours, we have some fixing to be done. I like your views on that. Because this nation is not even, well, as a nation, nation. 300 years yet. Other nations are doing better than we are. So, the question is, what do we do? Why would it be goodbye TikTok? Are you leaving? Is Are you leaving TikTok, Cam? Just a question. Hey, Joby, how you doing? I'm just asking, how are, how are you? I'm opening the page to, how are you? Are you doing okay? <laughs> TikTok is one of the seven signs of the apocalypse. What's the other one? Facebook? Twitter? Instagram? Are those the other signs of the apocalypse? Hey, Dart. I'm not having any particular subject. I'm just coming on and asking. TikTok's not leaving because people are making money. And so long as people are making money, TikTok's not going anywhere. Same way Facebook isn't going anywhere. Instagram isn't going anywhere. That's it. It's here. It's not going anywhere. Thank you. Yeah, MySpace. But MySpace wasn't making money. TikTok is. Facebook is. Instagram is. Hey, Kirby. After all of the drama, after everything going on, the page is just open. Your thoughts about the recordings, your thoughts about the indictment, your thoughts about where we go going forward from here. That's what that's what that's why the door is open. So if you'd like to come up in here, go right ahead. How you doing? Hey T, how you doing? Hey, you got a show today? No, I'm off this weekend. I had work last week. I got the next okay. one's in July, July 4th. Oh, okay. Cool beans. Thoughts no, on the I... recording? Thoughts on the indictment? Well, when I when I first heard about the recordings, 
I thought maybe he was just ruffling some papers in front of somebody. But now that I heard the ex the actual tape, he is showing somebody those documents. And he knows he should not be because he says he should not be. The people in the background says he should not be. So I don't know what more proof they need. And I have to ask the Trump supporters, when he goes on television and he says, I'm being indicted for you. I wonder what he means by that, because they're not being accused of stealing documents and hiding them and showing classified documents. So how is he being indicted on that for you? Exactly. When he says that, do you believe that he's 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 being uh, indicted for? That's as if he, he says he's in the way of you being indicted. So how how is he in the way of Trump supporters being indicted? So if he if he just goes on to Mar-a-Lago and plays golf and gets out of the way, are indictments coming to Trump supporters? No. That's the thing. So that that's why I keep focusing on his supporters. He keeps lying to you. It's almost like an abusive relationship where the husband's saying, "I didn't beat you." You know, you wouldn't know better. What I'm, I'm being, I'm being charged for unaliving somebody for you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I, I just, I'm trying to understand the logic of that thought process. I want my fellow Americans to understand: this is someone who is lying to you while using you as a convenient shield. I'm doing it for you. If, yeah. if I wasn't here, they'd be at your door right now. No, they fucking wouldn't. No. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. If you break the law, they'll be at your door. If you don't break the law, they will not be at your door. Whether it, Trump existed on this planet or not. Literally, now you got to go back to Roger Stone. When they busted him and searched his home, this is, this is, this is what they want to do to all Americans. No, they don't. No. Mm -hmm. You lied. You broke the law. <laughs> it's you. I just don't understand how they can think that these are some kind of saviors that are that are blocking the government from taking from from interfering in your life and taking you to jail. I mean, Trump still has plenty of power as an ex-president, and he hasn't lifted a finger to help anybody that's in jail for the insurrection. Nope. He doesn't nope. have to. He doesn't have to be president to help. Him. He, and, you know, he's if I, if I become president again, I will pardon them. Why aren't you doing anything at all right now? Why aren't you hiring lawyers to protect them or to 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 uh, help them get out of jail or, or 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 pay their fines? Why aren't you doing any of that? You don't need to be president to do that. Exactly. Because you don't, because exactly. you want to be the reason you want to be president right now because your ass is in trouble. That's the only reason you're running to the White House right now, because you don't want to go to jail. I once saw a movie where a guy, you know, claimed to be all big, bad, and brave. But when the pew pewing start, he snatched up a three-year-old, running, holding the three-year-old <laughs> up. And I was like, that kind of reminds me of Trump. I, all I really his enjoyed the, are the Brett. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the Brett interview, the guy from Fox News who interviewed him a few days ago, because I wasn't expecting that. But, you know, but now Trump's on social media saying he's the devil, he's this, he's that, he's this, you know, but it was a, it was an interesting interview because, you know, he caught my boy in a lot of, uh, 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 wait, what, huh? Especially when he's talking about that woman who was, that he pardoned for a drug dealing. Yep. And, but the guy, like you said, you, you know, you under your new, new rules here, you, you would kill drug dealers. Yes. Yes. So why? Are you, and yeah. and tell, tell me this, hold on. All of you middle and lower class people out there who may have relatives that are tied up in fentanyl and all these other drugs, he would have them executed. Yes, your brother, if they dealt your niece, any drugs, your cousin. If they sold any drugs, he would have them executed. Mm -hmm. I guess that's all right. I, I don't. I don't know. T. I'm. I'm lost for words. I don't, I don't understand the logic now. I don't get it. It, it, you, you're poor, rich, 
He would not piss on you to put you out if you were burning. Understand that. If your child was laying there bleeding, he wouldn't give you his beautiful red tie. He wouldn't give you his jacket to put over your child. That he admitted are made in China, by the way. That's on tape, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that right there, that right there. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just want people to understand. Now, do I like Joe Biden? Oh, fuck that. No, fuck that. I, I really don't I, like. I, I don't think either one of them should be in there next year or next next year. I don't think either one should be there. But I'm just saying, what is it going to? Because you you you, you heed and hawed for months and months. If he's guilty, where is the indictments? Well, the indictments are here now, dozens yeah. of them. And now your next thing, well, where's the arrest? He got arrested. No, he now got the next thing is like, well, where's the handcuffs? <laughs> because he's rich. He didn't need that. If it was yeah. you or me, we'd be in cuffs, okay? I mean, you know, if, if, if they got a picture of him in an orange jumpsuit, they're going to say, well, where's the gray jumpsuit? They're going to keep moving the goalposts, no matter what. Keep moving it. And it blows me the fuck away. <laughs> hey, honey, can you drop down? Please. Yeah. I need you to drop, Joby. Thank you. Okay. Take it easy, Misty. Thank you. It was fun. Hey, hey. Hey, what's cracking, T? Uh, just, just, just a basic little conversation. So We're just um, talking about a lot of different stuff. So what would you think about those recordings? Oh, my God. We had already read the indictment. But I did not know there were actual fucking recordings. Yeah, buddy. They out there. Rustling. You're talking to a writer. A writer. Uh, no security clearance. No nothing. Yep, no security clearance. Sitting there bragging about how these documents are still classified. And... <clears throat> The fact that he's talking about how they're still classified, yeah, then he knew he wasn't supposed to have them shits. Come on. Come on, Cletus. I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. And I'm sorry, but our allies, when that shit dropped last night, you better believe everybody was like, wait, it's a writer and an aide? Yeah. That's it? Yep. That's who he's sitting there going over our, our nation's secrets with. That's who he's going over our secret. nation's secrets with. You admitted it was secret. You admitted it was not declassified. Which that tells me he had intent and he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Damn. I mean, just unbelievable. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Especially as a veteran, I couldn't imagine anybody that I know giving up America like that. Funny. He did not say all, what do you mean all joking aside? How does that matter? He's not supposed to have them. Come on, it cut, they cut off before he said all joking aside. You missed the point. He was not supposed to have them at all. All joking Period. aside, my behind, he should not He should never. Oh, my goodness. That, that's the thing. You, you are desperate. You are now desperate to find some excuse, some way to cover his behind. You can't. He left it exposed. He sure did. He might as well be out in the wind in a thong. I'm, I mean, my goodness, guys. And they'll they'll keep covering for him. It's like it's like Joby said. If he's in an orange jumpsuit, they'll say, "Well, he was supposed to get a green one." If he's in a green jumpsuit, they say, "Well, he's supposed to get a, a yellow one." Yep. They say he yep. wasn't arrested because they didn't see no mug shot. Everybody already agreed he's got one of the most recognizable faces in the world. The prosecutors and the defense agreed they didn't need to mug shot him. Yeah, they know. They they fingerprinted him. Yep. Now, oh, I want to hear more about the uh, his ballet. I think he got a rain today. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I not sure how that, that went. Yeah, I haven't heard yeah, any of that. Didn't go good. 
I bet it didn't go good. And I know Donald Trump's going to throw him right under the bus. I already know it. They, oh, yeah. He, excuse me? Excuse me? He what, what? He what? What'd they say? I don't have my glasses on. Uh, Sparkle said he didn't show up. Oh, he didn't? Oh, wait, 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 he couldn't get an attorney. Why isn't his buddy buddy paying for his fucking attorney? Oh, snap. Why, why, why is his buddy not paying for him attorney? Oh, no, 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 no. Tea drinker, is that you? Or is that a fake? He, he did not show up for his own arraignment. When you're in one of the biggest lawsuits ever, or one of the biggest with with a former president, are you kidding me? He did not show up. Oh fuck no! Please tell me you got to be joking. The vow played not. What happened to a public defender? Yeah. If you show up without an attorney, they give you a public defender. They sure do. You just don't show up. Lord, how much the Lord, that man, I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him because they reset the date for July 6th. Why? Wait a minute. If that was one of us, they'd be showing up knocking on the fucking door, picking us up. Yeah. They wouldn't be giving they wouldn't be giving me no second hour. Okay, well. Uh, Daryl, listen, we we know you didn't show up today. We're so sorry you couldn't make it. Um, listen, how about you come you come back on July 15th? All right. All right. Yeah, we could do that. No, no. I'm getting the warrant knock and then I'm getting my ass arrested. There you go. Come on. Us everyday people would be fucking picked up. Or at the very least have a bench warrant put out for us. You know? You know? Wow, I can't believe that, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. That must be what it's... I'm guessing that's what it's like to be white in America. And rich. And rich. Oh, shit. This man may have been a little bit too close to the fire. A little bit too close for those with them. Okay. That he didn't forget. You punching the fucking clock. Yeah, really. That's insane, man. I can't believe it. Oh, my it. God. Oh, my God. Don't, oh, well, don't, you don't. know what? You reap what you sow, and it sounded to me like he's sowing real good. It sounded to me like he's sowing real good. I want my fellow Americans, I don't care that you got an R behind your name. Your ass would go to jail if you did half the shit that Trump did. The storms which canceled his flight? I thought he lived in Florida. No, this is a valet. This is a valet that was supposed to be arraigned today. Yeah, Walt. Yeah. So did they not have his arraignment in Florida? I, yeah, that's where it was supposed to be in Florida. He was supposed uh, to be arraigned with Donald Trump on that day, but he didn't have a, a a Florida attorney. Okay. So if he lives in Florida, if he's Donald Trump's valet, I would have to assume that he lives in Florida also. Yeah, and would be with him. So what? Okay, I'm confused. Somebody, somebody, bring me up to speed. Somebody, bring me up to speed. Let me let me see what I can find on my iPad real quick too. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, don't ignore it, baby. Cheryl never ignore what goes on in our government, unless you're looking to down the line when the shit hits the fan. Start going. I never knew about that. You never knew about it because you chose not to because you chose to ignore it. Okay? That's it. Where's the evidence? Honey, go look up the indictment, okay? You can't get an indictment without evidence. How's it two-tiered? They're rich. 
They get to get away with things. You're not on that tier. I know I'm not on that tier. No, no way, no way. Here's the thing. This shit damages our nation. Our allies are looking at us. Going, we can't trust y'all. We, we, we can't trust y'all. Mm -mm. Not at all. So we're just going to let y'all hang out there by yourself. Okay, here it is. Here it is, T. Yep. Uh, Walt Nada, Nada did not appear mm -hmm. in court due to a canceled flight from Newark, New Jersey and was unable to book another flight to make his appearance. So is Trump in New Jersey? I have no idea. Because you're his valet. That's what I'm trying to see now. Uh, Trump aide Walton Ada still hasn't gotten a Florida lawyer delaying his arraignment again. So there's a couple of different headlines here. Uh, <clears throat> and one classified received another extension on Tuesday for his arraignment after he failed to secure local counsel. His attorney, Stanley Woodward, appeared on his behalf and told the court that Nada had, hadn't been able to find an attorney authorized to practice in the South Florida district and requested an extension until July 6. And Judge Edward mm -hmm. Torres granted the extension, saying you need to try to have that be your drop dead deadline. Wow. But I also said, Required to appear at the arraignment in person, though he tried, according to Woodward. Uh, he said mm -hmm. he was at Newark Liberty International Airport for eight hours on Monday, where numerous flights were delayed because of thunderstorms and flash flood warnings in the area. Okay, okay, okay. That I can speak on. Yeah, there was some really hinky weather. I got you. I understand. I understand. But God damn. First of all, you're saying you can't find an attorney. Then you're saying you couldn't get there. And you already said he didn't have to be there. So where the fuck's the attorney? It's been over a week. You haven't gotten one? Yeah, don't seem like he trying to he trying too hard to find one either, do it. Yeah. Yeah, we watch it. We watch it. That's fine. Damn. All Anywho, I know is you or me would have been thrown under the bus already. We would have been. A, come on. They would have flown there, got our ass, and said, "Here he is. He ain't got no attorney. We're gonna have to get one of those uh, public defenders." Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Absolutely right. <laughs> I don't even think I would have gotten a delay till the six. I don't oh, think I would. No, we wouldn't have. Uh, -uh. they would have been like, "All right, we sending some cops up there to uh, where's he at? New Jersey? Yeah, we, we gonna, gonna come collect him. Yep, we, we come to pick come, him up. Come collect him. Hey, Tom, how you doing, sweetie? Lord, have been really bad about three days. Okay, Sparkle. All right, yeah. I can understand. But you ain't got an attorney yet? You, you, can, you can do that on phones. It's so, always some kind of excuse with them. And these excuses, look, my, my eighth grade English teacher, Miss Smith, told me once, she said, excuses are tools of the incompetent and those who use them are seldom good for anything. There you go. Exactly. I swear, the recording and the fact that he did not show up for this arraignment, which would have put any one of our asses in jail. Hey, Wakanda. Hey, Songbird. Hey, auntie. Hey, bro. Um, how y'all doing today? Y'all good? 
Uh, we good. This, yeah. This is, this is mental health second day. Mm. Say hi to Oscar. Hey, Oscar. <laughs> you have Oscar and I have Glory Jean. I have Glory Jean. And honey. <laughs> and I got Prince and Maze. That's there right. That's right. Well, I don't, I don't have them here, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yep. But they help you. They help you. They soothe your spirit mm -hmm. when they're not getting in trouble. Yeah. Apollo and Artemis. <laughs> <laughs> but that recording, that we we different different pages here on TikTok have been reading the indictment or playing recordings of the indictment, and literally there were so many people. Nope, I'm not hearing French. You in French? Damn. Uh, it, so many people will come into a live and say, nah, I haven't read it. Nah, I don't think I need to read it. If you don't read it, if you don't listen, then how are you supposed to know anything? You're denying things without being willing to take in information. See, they, they don't want they don't want to listen to it because then they'll have to actually pay attention. They may actually hear something that they may actually have to go, oh, dang, that it, it may be something to this. Maybe he did do this. But see, if you don't listen to it, then you got plausible deniability. That's what the, that's what they're looking for. Plausible yeah. deniability. And you want to keep your head in the, like the, the flamingos put their head in. The, you want to put your head in the sand and act like it didn't happen. It's still going to happen whether your head is in the sand or not. He's still been indicted, and and the charges are quite serious, mm -hmm. and um and it goes to national security. <clears throat> Excuse me, on a level which I'm like, oh my god! I mean, not only have I listened to it uh, through an audio, I've actually had uh, a judge go over each line of the indictment. So I'm just like, and 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 the person said he's effed. <laughs> she read it. She was like, he's effed. He, he he's he's thoroughly effed. And I'm like, yeah, I said, that's what I, the picture I draw without all the knowledge. So, yeah. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want y'all to understand this. He actually went on True Social this morning talking about this exonerates me. What fucking world where you, you're telling government, showing government secrets to an author with zero clearance that that somehow exonerates you when out of your own mouth you say they're not declassified and because i'm not the president now i can't declassify them why would a case like that be dropped that sounds like admission of guilt in the highest form to me that's what it sounds yeah. like maybe maybe i you know i don't have a lot of degrees you know in the, in, in in law but that's what it sounds like to me i yeah. can't speak for nobody else if, if it's going to be dropped, then you have to it, but it wasn't strong enough. But in this particular instance, it's strong enough to get an indictment to go to American citizens who judge the information and decided, yep, mm -hmm, yep, he, he broke the law. So your fellow Americans looked at the information, looks at the data, and said, yeah, this needs to go forward. We can see an indictment. No judge pulled this out of thin air. Jack Smith did not pull it out of thin air. They gave information to everyday Americans. That's it. Yes, the data is crazy. Uh, no, it hasn't. Yes, you're absolutely right, Robert. It has not been put into effect. You know why? Because nobody did it. That's All like the other people had enough sense to avoid it. <laughs> yeah, that's like there's a law that you can't right? walk backwards across the freeway. All right. Nobody did it until one damn fool did it. Said, okay, now we gotta press. We gotta use that law. Sorry about that, T. My nurses came in to talk to me. Oh, okay. Sitting up here doing therapy on my shoulder as we speak. So, but um, you know, the, 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 here's the thing. 
And then when you read it and you find out, especially with the lawyers concerned, like I, like I said, I, every time I talk about this subject, if I was at first the, the lady that signed the paperwork, I would have, as soon as I found out what they really did to me, I'd have got, I'd have left whatever meeting I was in and I'd have went straight over to that office and I'd have beat the hell out of both of them guys. I'd have beat the sewer out of both of them. Because they knew what was going on and then they called her out to sign it. That's crazy to me. What? That's That's crazy to me. Hold on. That one attorney. Yes, that they fronted on and pimped yep. out and called her and said, "Here, sign right here. Yeah, everything's been done. All the uh-huh. boxes yep. were sent away. Yep, and she signed it. Yep, I'd have beat when I tell you. Out of when they, when I found out it was a lie, honey, I'd have went straight over there. I would right got to that door. I'd have pulled off, pulled my hair into a ponytail, greased my face down." Took my Take earrings them. out and I'd have beat somebody all the way out that building. Yes, I would have. Take off them shoes. Yeah, for real. <laughs> they threw her straight under the bus and backed <laughs> it up over her a few times. Baby, when I tell you, we'd have been scrapping in the hallway. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> would have, yep, would have beat the bricks off of them. I'm telling you, the bricks, the brakes, honey. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I, I busted my ass to go to law school. I busted mm-hmm. my ass to pass the bar. I busted my ass, and you basically threw my whole life, my mm-hmm. career, but in the trash. Now, Baby, I'm they told her to lay something. down. They told her to lay down, something. picked up the school bus, and put it right on top of her. I I'm mean, you, put I'm it on something. square. Okay, we got, we got to be honest. We got to be honest. Mm-hmm. Part of that is her fault, too, for not going in personally looking on her own. Them. No, but, but here's the thing. Lawyer. Yeah, oh, but here's the thing. These your colleagues. This ain't nobody from the opposing team. I'm Come on. Saying. Look, look, look. look. Man, you, I hear what you're saying, Swear, but that's like me. You know what this is like? This is like me and you, and you tell me, Brandon, come over here and sign this. Knowing that all the well, all the while, what was going on, come over here and sign this for me right quick. That's how it was. Those were colleagues. Those weren't somebody across the street. That wasn't some homeless guy on the corner. These were your colleagues that worked in the same firm with you. You're supposed to be able to trust your colleagues. I completely understand where you're coming from, but I would have checked. Well, I'm just saying on my behalf. I understand what you're saying, but you ever heard that phrase, if your mother tells you she loves you, check your source. No, I ain't never heard that. I, don't, I ain't never heard that's where I trust my mama. Well, who told you that? What? What? Uh, oh, no, no. I, you, uh, uh, you came up in a different type business, of household. Look, I ain't never heard business, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. With the business that I've worked in and been in the Navy, we don't take nothing for granted. People won't, if somebody called me over and said, hey, sign this. Like, I, I'll give you a prime example. When I bought my first house, they put paper in front of me and they were like, this is just a notice saying you're going to take over the electric bill starting tomorrow. I said, okay. And I would start to read it and they go, well, you can go ahead and sign it. That's what it is. Okay. Either you let me read this or I'm getting the hell up and walking out of here yep. and I'll yep. take my money and my business elsewhere. I, I'll um, be honest. When I bought my house, I did the same shit. I was there for almost two freaking hours. Mm-hmm. My closing was scheduled at three o'clock in the afternoon. When I got to Dominion Homes offices at three oh one, we was in the conference room. Sorry. We was going through paperwork. We didn't. Me and Dawn didn't leave there till seven thirty. I read every piece of paper that they put in front of me. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm I'm sorry for y'all. I'm reading these comments. I'm sorry for y'all that had you know had an issue in your childhood. My apologies, but my mama wasn't like that. I'm just gonna say, my mama mama wasn't like that. that Either it's just the same. Somebody said, "Uh -uh, I'm reading a comment and said, I wouldn't trust my birth as far as I could toss her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had that experience. I'd have had that. I'd had an issue with my mama. I trust my mama implicitly. I I don't have no issues. That's just just blasphemy. uh, But I am. I am with Wakanda. With at my work. If somebody tells me, oh, sure, you can go ahead and transfer that paper. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. you can pack that stuff out. 
I go, uh, wait, I need a second on that. Somebody throw security numbers on here. I might screw up and send it to the wrong place. Am I going to be fired? Mm-hmm. Cause I see, that's that's the thing. But I but I I tell you what though, I'd I'd have caught a charge behind them behind them too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, I'd have caught me a charge. I shown up charge behind that. You know what? I would have caught a case because they would have caught these hands. Yep, that's yep. what I'm talking about. It'd I'd, I'd have been, been a lot of damn catching going on on a Monday. I'm trying to tell you. Tell you. Yep. I'm trying to yep. tell you, baby. I'd have, mm-hmm. they'd be like, oh, what happened? I'm like, I, mm-hmm. I found out what y'all did. They'd have seen me coming, and the look on my face would have said enough for them. And I'd have went in their office and locked the door, and I'd have it'd been some furniture moving around in that joint. I'd, I'd have beat the brick, baby. The, and here's, the thing. here's the thing. The attorney that got her to do it is the one that flipped and said, no, she never checked. Uh-uh. I just See now? And even more of a reason, baby. I'm like, y'all better put him in protest- protective custody. That's the only way he gonna skip this beating is if he is in protective custody because I'm gonna beat him. And the then the one, I'm gonna tell you. The best oh, thing ahead, y'all sorry. can do right now is call the U.S. Marshals to come and get his ass. <laughs> y'all better put him in wit sack real quick. Like, y'all better get him. Y'all, like, listen, you better get him. But, um, and then the other one, I'm gonna tell you what else got me. You know Donald Trump is a is a, a deceitful, dirty. I say some words. I'm, I'm gonna keep it clean. Uh, but the fact that he gave them that document, that one set of document documents, to his lawyer and told him to take it back to his office. And when you get there, you know, if you see anything that look that might, you know, get me in oh trouble or get me caught up, how about you just go ahead and then the plucky motion pluck that out and get rid of it that again is an admission of intent that's what i'm telling you he knew he wasn't supposed to have it that's what i'm telling y'all that's what i'm telling y'all i said i said he did what oh you and and, shoot and if i was that lawyer i would have said i was i resigned i resigned right there because when you telling me to touch something that i know is to oh mm -mm, you're trying to get me caught Mm -hmm. up for real for real no. Nope. Again, th- this is someone who does not care about anybody. The, all of the, think of all of these attorneys that now have a mark against their reputation just by. Okay, yeah, they signed up, but then they quit. They signed up and then they quit. You imagine going into a court or going to a, um to meet with another firm and they go, didn't you? weren't you working for Trump at one point during that time? Didn't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, Oh, I can see him just well, laughing yes, her right, right out the door. No, we don't need you at our law firm. Uh, uh-uh. uh, you got bad judgment. Well, did mm-hmm. you did you hear about the the possible new campaign finance violation? What's that? What now? Another campaign finance violation. This time for his twenty twenty four presidential run, as he is telling people ninety percent of your money that you donate to me, ninety percent of it will go to the campaign, 10% of it will go to the Stop the Steal Fund. See that? Oh, but I'm like, that's all campaign money. You can't do that. He's so, he's so trifling. Remember, in 2020, all these damn emails that we got in our Yahoo, Stop the Steal, Save uh-huh. Democracy. <laughs> yeah, I remember What's that. Steal? <laughs> What's Steal? What's Steal? What's still, I'm, y'all? Show me the still. Where the still? Where they I'm still like, in this? I'm calling, girl. I'm <laughs> calling my mom. I'm calling my mama up. I'm like, was you missing any money out of your bank account? She goes, no. I said, well, I wasn't either. What? Apparently, it's who's a whole lot of stealing going on somewhere. I'm like, who's the, who they showing? They, somebody got life. You know what, mom? And, and here's the word that my mother used, and it <laughs> it tickles me every time she uses it. And I'm like, Mom, have you seen my thing? She said, Oh, you can't find it. Did somebody yank you? She said, They yank you. You get yanked. <laughs> She's like, You got yanked. I said, What? She's like, They yanked you. <laughs> what? She's like, They yanked you. <laughs> but the, but you know what? You know they can't they can't take the willing. They willing for him to take their money. 
they, that, that's the level I can't get to. How 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 de ah, how deprived of knowledge are you? That you know this man is is grifting you at every every time he he wipe his face, it's a grip. I'm telling you, and you going along with it. I don't understand. That makes no sense to me. Y'all yeah, remember that there was an 80 year old man uh, around October 2020. He made a donation to stop this deal, okay? Excuse me. And it used to be, it used to be in the front of the print. You had to tell them to stop taking money out. There was an 80 year old man that lost almost $5,000. And nobody didn't realize it until he died. And they went to look at his bank account and they're like, where is this hundred dollars a month coming from? Where is this all going to? Because it started out as a $20 donation, but it automatically rolled over to a hundred dollars with the next deduction. This 80 year old man did not, the grift was real and it's still real. Only at that time, the, the, the RNC was working with them. But then when that guy filed a lawsuit and got all that money back, the RNC dropped out and everything's handled by Trump now. All these goddamn emails coming in. I just wouldn't have allowed it. I, I, mm -mm, you can't get my money like that. I get notifications from, from Biden and I just throw them in the trash. I don't even, I don't even do that. And and I support I support Biden I support him you know but I don't even give him money him and him, him or Kamala I don't no, care who no. they send me a letter from. Do you want me to make some phone calls? I make some phone calls. You want me to make some but it's tight. I lick some envelopes. Yep, it's tight right now. But I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry Joe I like you and everything you you did some good things but it's tight over him. It's tight tight over him. I'm just okay. gonna say. It. So. Mm -hmm. Cause the first time you you take you take twenty if I say you take twenty and you take twenty oh one we gonna have an issue I'm gonna tell you that right now anything you, oh, oh, one cent oh let me call him right now wait a minute what, what was that the call Mr Biden Mr Biden Mr Biden uh huh where's my money at a <laughs> hundred dollars a month shoot baby. <laughs> Mm -mm. I'll get my mm. You know what I can do with an extra hundred, uh, extra hundred a month? Play up. Mm -mm. Nope. I was at Wakanda. I was in a live today, and this guy talked to the guy for two freaking hours. I just oh said there's I was working with one ear listening. He kept mm. going step by step, and he kept trying to deflect over onto what about Hunter? What about Joe Biden? What about this? He's like, no, nope, we're going to stay on point. We're going to go through this indictment line by line. Mm -hmm. It's the wiggle worm. It's like a worm in hot ashes. You put them in that pot, you put them in them ashes, and they get the wiggling every which way. Every which Well, what about, uh, well, well, no, focus, stay focused. I know you got ADHD, but stay focused. I need you to focus now. Okay. This, this ain't that. This is real. You know, this is not mm -hmm. assumptions. This is not guessing. These are facts. That's right. This is what he did. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they don't oh. want to pay attention to it. They, I'm telling you, they don't want to see it. And I'm I like, and then here's the thing. You know, I, I was in a live a few nights ago and I told the guy, he was like, I ain't seen, I haven't read it. I haven't read it. I said, well, I said, is it the fact that you don't want to read it? Yeah, I don't want to read it. I said, well, I'll tell you what, YouTube has this wonderful thing where somebody is reading the indictment to you. You don't even have to read it. You can listen to it. Oh, oh, they do? They got some, I said, yeah, it's on YouTube. Just put in these keywords, it'll come up. And he was like, oh, I might do that. I said, you need to. I said, y'all care about him so much. You need to know what they charged him with and why they're charging him. You you claim to be a patriot. You mm -hmm. claim to be an American. Then you need to be informed. That's right. Hey, that's what that is. You're back. All right, I'm back. I was making my way downstairs. I thought. <laughs> but I wanted I wanted to say one thing too when when you were talking about uh 
you know, the stop the steal money. Mm -hmm. Remember also the RNC stepped in and they paid like $150 million back to those people huh. who lost their money. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, so Republicans who donate to the Republican Party paid off Trump shenanigans. That right huh. there. Okay. Yep. Wow. That's it. That's crazy to me. It's crazy. Okay, I, to me. I, I, they all run around talking about we don't, we don't want him again. <laughs> you know what though? Somebody was somebody was saying that they didn't they didn't that uh what's name is looking they said they looking into Marjorie Taylor Green now too. Good. I said, oh really? Good. I said, I, pardon this yeah, thing. They, they, mm -hmm. they literally in their mouth said, you know, for the good of the nation, Joe Biden should pardon him. The devil is a lie. The devil Man, is a I'll, whole lie. I'll show up at Pennsylvania at Tell the truth and shame the devil. Avenue, not telling you going, get your fucking ass out here. <laughs> I pay your I'll, I'll be right there with you. I'll be right there with you, Auntie. Uh huh. Come on out here, Joe. Joe. Y'all better yes. let Kam Kamala. Kamala, if you, girl, if you don't meet me on this grass, you better. I'm gonna be coming across the grass. I'm gonna put on the show on on the six o'clock news. Now, what was that? What was that we were saying earlier? We gonna be like Kamala, Kamala. You better get your boy. <laughs> you better get your boy. You better get him right now. Yeah, you get your boy, get your man. To, to see a serious misunderstanding. Mm, you better get your pot. Or oh, we say not partner, partner. You better get your partner. Get your partner. Get your partner. <laughs> you gonna mess around. We are gonna get him out too. We gonna get him out. If he do it, baby. If he was the his name okay. would be I don't know if Jordan got the granddad pooped in on it, but we about to have a problem. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be talking about it still for real. I'm not even gonna bother with the lace front. I ain't got to worry about it. Put a little Vaseline underneath what the eyes. What was that Eddie Murphy said in uh in uh Harlem or uh Life? He's he's like, you go ahead, and partner if you want to. I'm gonna take out all your fronts. You <laughs> See how you go back to New I'm York. A, I'm gonna just. I'm, I'm, a, just I'm just gonna dive, dive on, you. on you. That's what he said. I'm gonna dive on yep. you. I'm gonna dive on that's you. Ain't gonna you be do, no that's how you going back to Delaware. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna pack your ass up and ship you back. You better say, you better say, little tiny clock or something. But if, if you say watch, I'm just gonna dive on you. <laughs> if, you if you say pop, if you say pop, if you if you fix your mouth, say pop, pop, it's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it. I'm That's right, poetic. This is my employee. Mm -hmm. All of y'all should don't view even, them as your employee. Part. You better say excuse. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm like, ooh, Jordan, girl, did you, Jordan, drop this whole basket? Ooh, baby. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. The same, the same ones who are talking about, um, you know. Joe Biden should pardon him for the good of the country. Those are the same ones trying to impeach Joe Biden. Mm hmm. No, he need to Ain't go. He need to go to jail for the good. Of, it's it's the reverse. He need to go to jail for the good of the country. That's what need to happen. Yep. Now all this grifting and lying and messing around, baby. The best thing they need to do is hit hit the uh the jail door slam. Yes, yep. they do. Cause that's how I feel about it. That's how I'm gonna get the piece that I need. I got some peace when Joe. But the rest of it I need is when he is behind bars. That's when I'll get the rest of it. Held accountable. The That's right. Anyone else that wipes their butt. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like we need to do something about this January 6th. This Jan it's the like way we do something about it, the way we do something Put about it is we got to hold him accountable. And it's like I said, you cannot sit here and say you would set an unprecedented mark if we put a former president in jail. Okay, well, what about the unprecedented mark you're setting? You're basically letting the next president know they can get away with anything. Now. Nah. And nobody's going to say shit. Now nah, yeah. you said it. And, nah, and it's like I said, said before, if James Brown got to go, T-Rum got to go. They That's go. right. Mm -hmm. Leslie Snipes went. He needed That's to go right. 
That's right. Shoot. You the do what you need elections. to do. Jack Smith is going to chew those fake electors up and spit them the hell out. And I hope, and you know what? Is Ron, is Ron Johnson on the list? No. I don't know. God, I hope he was. He wasn't one of them. I hope he is. I hope he is. Lying rascal. He's from he my he from my home. I mean, I I'm not I don't live there now, but he's from Wisconsin. And I I'm the yeah, they need to get his team. Mm. They sure need to get him. Acting like he was on a phone call when the journalist was was uh was talking to him and then the video <laughs> They say, We see you. The screen is blank. <laughs> I was like, no, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and then the journalist called him out. He said, Mr. Johnson, we don't see anyone on your phone. Yep. And and and, and he and didn't joke. The journalist called his ass right out. He and, and needed to be and needed to be. Told that great big I'm like I'm gonna take that great big old lie. Like Oh, oh, yes. I'm, I'm thankful. He on the list of insurrectionists. They need to get his tail. He need to get got. He do. I, I think some of them, I think some of them fake electors already got immunity or partial immunity. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard, too. Wait, 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 wait. And, and you've got Marjorie Taylor Greene walking around talking about, we're going to um, put forward a plan to unimpeach the president and to repeal those that shit isn't even in the fucking constitution she don't, she's so like stupid she's so stupid but you know what though let her go ahead yeah, it is. She, let her go ahead because then if they get rid of joe here come kamala go ahead be stupid go ahead do please please do That's it what please. I told <laughs> like what is that please do it then please i want to see you do it madam president <laughs> then we got mm -hmm. madam president harris to look forward to that's right plain and simple yeah, go ahead. And if and if, and if it's possible, can you bring Gavin Newsom as a VP? There, there you go. That's is now you're talking. Now you're talking. See, I can get I can, I can get down with that ticket too. Yeah, Harris, Harris Newsom. I can get I can get with that. Harris Newsom. That sounds like a plan to me. Yes, Wait sir. That sounds like see, that sounds like a real deal. California along, and he become the next president. Uh huh. Cause, honey, when he whipped Hannity's tail that night, mm -hmm. baby, I laughed. I was feeling good from a good, healthy place. I'm, I really was. I really was. <laughs> and wasn't to this, to this day, do nothing but look still, at him. To this, to this day, people still don't believe that Donald Trump was impeached. I don't know people what they still thought. don't believe that man got impeached. But here's the crazy thing: if you don't. Got impeached, I'm like, yeah. Then why would they be trying to repeal the impeachment? See, there it is. Make it make sense. It can't. It's everything that they think is a flex. It ain't no kind of flex. And it, you know, the prime example I use is when they come busting up in our lives talking about, I ain't taking no COVID shot. I'm a pure blood. Like, man, you should really go look up that word before you start throwing it around. You just told on yourself. I, I let him. I you, just look at him. You just told us that you was a product of incest. Mama, I'm like, mama, 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 wife, mama, sister, husband, brother. Uh huh. That you Utter saying the same part out loud? Utter foolishness. Like I'm like, go ahead, keep on talking. At me. While we sitting here they looking at you flex, like, mm -hmm. no kind of flex. <laughs> I'm just looking at him like, mm hmm. And then you just look them up and down like they like they got something nasty on their clothes. It's like, mm. is that you what you are? Got, you ain't even got to do that no more. Just walk, just turn and walk away. I'm like, mm, that's so I'm insane. Like every one of these people wearing their red hats, you keep them on, so I know exactly who to stay the hell away from. <laughs> We're going to be able to see. <laughs> but I, you know, you know, they've taken down the um the black flags, and some of them have taken down the Trump flags for smaller flags. Mm -hmm. so you, feel. you ain't got mm -hmm. them strapped to the flatbed of your truck no more. Mm -hmm. Oh, this there was when, ever see that movie, The Stupid? Oh, Diane, I got a better one for you. Go look up um Idiocracy, the movie Idiocracy. 
point. When when they started putting up those black flags, right? This police officer posted a video putting up one of these flags outside his house, and it wasn't the police chief. It was the sergeant and his lieutenant. It was the police union that said, "You need to take that shit down." Yep. You need to take that shit down because right now you talk about committing insurrection against your own country. Mm-hmm. No. No, I'll leave it up there so I can know and tell the FBI and the DOJ exactly where to come pick your tail up at. <laughs> yep. Right. Be, pe- while I'm peeking out the window. Uh <laughs> can y'all cook, can y'all get Mary Garley on the phone, please? Put them on the <laughs> phone right quick while I'm peeking through the blinds. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, thank you. Those who used to watch, remember prior oh, to hey, the Cookie, that was nice. That was sweet. <laughs> on the beach with some palm trees. That's what I need to be at. I know, right? Do, do, do y'all, do y'all remember Pirates of the Caribbean? Of course. The, yeah. Oh, thank you again. The whole thing was about thank pirates. You, oh, thank you, Cookie. Oh, wow. So pretty. She gave yeah. all of us one. Thank you, Cookie. Yeah, thank you, Cookie. Pirates are not trusted. Pirates were, were disavowed by every fucking country because it's mm-hmm. trustworthy. But yes. Flying a black flag. Oh Lord. Mm-hmm. They're so they're so stupid. I, I I just look at them like Lord, how did you even get to be this old? That's what I look at them and say, because clearly you, you know ain't what? got the sense God gave a billy goat. You know what, Songbird? I look at him and I go, you know, theoretically, you should have accidentally unalived yourself at least fifty <laughs> times already. <laughs> you those California are the kind, dreaming those cookie, are the, me too, girl. Those are the kind of people that caution labels were made for. Mm-hmm. Warning labels. That, that's who they, they are. How did they get yeah. I analyze, but you know. I, Lord, I'm and do you remember that boy that turned his daddy in? Y'all remember that? Ooh. Y'all remember that boy? He said, I couldn't, I just could not yep. I just couldn't go along with it. And mm-hmm. turn him, yep. turn his dad. We need some more. We need more of them. Turn yeah. these folks in. Those are real Americans. Real mm-hmm. Americans. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna support my nation and my 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 fellow citizens. Mm-hmm. Right. And then I'm not. Uh, we can, we're not having none of this. You got to go. Mm-mm. You got to go. Uh-uh. Hey, T. Yes. T. I, I promised myself I was gonna hold to a time frame tonight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the bed for tonight. I got a very, very long day tomorrow. All right. All um, right. That I am not at all looking forward to. Okay. You so, want me to? Uh, you want me to I'm call you later? I mean, I mean, tomorrow after what time? I won't be able to talk. Okay, well then I'll, I'll call you Wait. Thursday. Uh, or you want me to wait till Friday? Now that I think about it, I don't. I don't know when the next time I'll be able to use my voice again. That's mm. okay. I'll text it. I will text. But okay. that don't that don't mean I won't be around listening. Um, okay, it's just I gotta. I'll be undergoing a couple of different procedures tomorrow, and one of them is going to leave a tube right down my throat for a while. Okay. Oh. So, oh. one down my throat and, and another one in the side of my throat. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, oh. Okay. who sent that? Somebody sent you a I love you, uh, Swerve. Oh, I love oh. you too. Thank you. Oh, I love you too, guys and girls. Let I me get myself too, bro. out of here. I love you too, sis. All right. Uh, Get the rest. T, always a pleasure talking with you. Appreciate you having me up as always. I'm here to trust the tea and not the Kool Aid. And uh, uh, love you, Songbird. I love you too, bro. Good night, everybody. I love you too, Oscar. Good night. All right. Take care. Good night, everybody. Sleep well, love. Take care, love. Oh. We will all send him good vibes. That's right. All right. Good juju. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We yeah, are, it, well. Yeah, if everything going. works out, I'll be, it's like, it's two weeks. About two weeks. I'll be up there in about two weeks. If everything works out. All right. All right. Mm-hmm.
Yep, yeah. and next month. So, yeah, I'm going to see but, him. So, yeah. Oh, hey, take pictures. Send we'll them. do. I'm gonna. We're gonna take. <laughs> take pictures. I'm yes, picture ma'am. <laughs> the boopable nose. But <laughs> we 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 have got to turn the tide. We have got to start yeah. getting our own candidates. I'm mm -hmm. talking about if there's any conservatives in here, y'all cannot count on the RNC to do right by what's good for this nation. And we need to vet our own, because we don't want Joe Biden. But right mm -hmm. now, he's all we got. Mm -hmm. And right I, I tell you what, even if it ain't, I, I tell you what it show, I tell you who, who, here, who it ain't. I tell you who it ain't. That RFK, I tell you who it ain't. No. I, I, I hear back. Mm -mm. <laughs> what was it? We, we, we got to do a weekend at Bernie's with <laughs> Biden. We're going to do it. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to be up under one arm and you be up under another. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about it. Ain't nothing it. wrong with him. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He just, he just having a little problem walking. He just... <laughs> Yeah, he just yeah, having yeah. a little paralysis. It's gonna, it's gonna pass. It's gonna pass. He's catching a nap. He's catching a nap. Leave him alone. You know they call him Sleepy Joe. He just getting some rest. He just getting some rest. There you go. All right. Dark Brandon is just catching a nap. For real. For real. Because I'm telling you I'm what. Saying, I'm if somebody was talking about the way he talked. I would. I was like, they had. It was somebody on this app. I gotta find that video. <laughs> and send it to you. And they was talking about if we go if we comparing how somebody talk and how the other person talk, baby. Okay. Okay. Yeah, for you real. Mm-hmm. But he ain't orange. I know that's right. But you Shoot. know what? We we have to focus. We gotta start getting involved. We gotta start hopping on the phone to the DNC. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, y'all conservatives, you need to be hopping on the phone to the RNC. You need to be telling them we don't need no goddamn Tim Scott. Sure Rick don't. Scott, nope. None of the rest of these yahoos, because y'all trying to pull the same okie doke as 2016. Mm -hmm. Muddy the damn waters and divide and that Williamson. What's her name? Marion Williamson. Yeah. Wait a minute, Auntie. You know what I didn't know? I'm gonna tell you what I didn't know, and I found out the other night. You remember when um Donald Trump was in Helsinki talking to Putin? Yeah. Do you know Marianne was there too? Excuse me. No, no you kidding me? I wish I listen. That's what I was told. Now I got. I, 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 somebody told me that the other day, and I and I just came back to my memory. I really got to look it up. They said he was. She was at the table too. So oh. we got rat. Look, it's too many rats. We got a bunch of rats on the ship. Look Wait at that. Did we just go through this shit in 2016? What Listen. was the name of the gray-haired lady who was with the Green Party? Who was sitting Stein. at the desk with Stein? Stein. Yeah. Yes. And then Johnson, the other guy who couldn't tell shit. He was also sitting at the fucking table. See, this this is stuff I can't time. deal with. What? This is the stuff I can't deal with. I'm not putting up with no. I'm I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. All you deserters, all you all you rats. I, I'm, I'm 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 listen. It's time to get rid of all rats. Get some glue traps. Put them out. Snap, go, honey. Get some cats. We I, I can't. I'm sick of all these rats. We got too many rats. I'll still take cats, huh? I I still like to catch little gerbils and mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna listen. Um, let me, matter of fact, let me take that back. I don't want the glue traps. I want the old fashioned snap traps. So we can kill them. Get them. Get rid of them. Get rid of the rats. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I can't Mary, do. I don't. Mm -mm. Time to die. Ann time to go. Marianne Williamson is a self help guru and an yeah. anti vaxxer. Mm -hmm. The only good thing she did say was reparations. Other than that, I ain't got all. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Everything else is trained. I guess she so. thought she'd throw that out there and that'll reel enough people of color. Mm -hmm. get, the, get, get people of color on her side. We're like, girl, bye. Please. You got something in writing? Put something in writing and we'll think about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Look we'll take it to the. We'll Look take it to the ba the black delegates and see what they say. I think it's gonna be a hell no, but we're gonna take up to them and see what they say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they better break that shit down. I know that's right. 
<laughs> oh, self-help equals let me let help, me my help myself. To your, yep. mm-hmm. that, sound, that sounds about right. That sounds right. Mm-hmm. Sure does. <laughs> But we're going to wrap this up because I'm going to go look at Barrister. I scroll through the lives till I fall asleep. Mm, I do too. <laughs> I do too. And I be listening to all kind of stuff. I do too. So I, I do too. Good. Uh-huh. Then you wake up like, wait, what did they say? Hold up. Let me sit up right quick. <laughs> Turn the light off. <laughs> there you go. I thought I was oh. the only person that did that. I'm glad to know it's you too. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to get down. I love you. And it was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's Thank always a pleasure to talk you, talk politics and everything else with you. Yeah. So you have a good night. Everybody in the comments, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. Hey, bye-bye. <laughs> you guys. A splendid evening. Uh, you can look me up on Spotify, Conversations, Tea Time with Tea, or YouTube, Tea Time with Tea. Moderators, you are always the bomb. I am always grateful for you guys. You keep keep us on an even keel. We didn't really have trolls tonight. I think they're kind of still shocked about that recording. And haven't quite managed to get what their um what their little spiel will be about that recording. They can't say it was fake. That's his damn voice. Hell, the the art uh, the writer was the one who actually verified the fucking recording. Because hey, she records stuff while she's interviewing people. So anyway. You guys have a splendid evening. Remember, trust the tea, not the Kool-Aid. And you can look me up, please, again, over on Spotify. Y'all come listen. And YouTube, come on over. Follow me. Tea time with tea. Night, guys. Be well.